This is the Cambridge Key English Test. Paper 2. Listening. Test number 2. There are five parts to the test. Now look at the instructions for part 1. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. The questions 1 to 5 put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About 30. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is 30. So there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question 1. One. Which day is the man's appointment? I'd like to make an appointment to see Dr. Owen tomorrow morning, please. That's Thursday. He's not free at all tomorrow. Uh, what about Friday afternoon? If not, it will have to be Monday morning. I can't come any afternoon. I suppose I'll have to have the morning appointment then. OK. We'll see you at nine. What's your name? Now listen again. I'd like to make an appointment to see Dr. Owen tomorrow morning, please. That's Thursday. He's not free at all tomorrow. Uh, what about Friday afternoon? If not, it will have to be Monday morning. I can't come any afternoon. I suppose I'll have to have the morning appointment then. OK. We'll see you at nine. Uh, what's your name? Two. What is the woman going to eat? I'm going to have chicken and salad. What would you like? Um, the soup looks good, but the weather's a bit too warm for anything hot. Why don't you have sandwiches? They don't look very nice. I think I'll have the same as you. Now listen again. I'm going to have chicken and salad. What would you like? Um, the soup looks good, but the weather's a bit too warm for anything hot. Why don't you have sandwiches? They don't look very nice. I think I'll have the same as you. Three. Which train will the woman take? When is the next train to Ashford? I'm afraid you're just too late for the 11.30. The next one is 12.45, but you'll have to change trains. The 2.15 is quicker because it goes straight to Ashford. I don't mind changing trains. I'll have a return ticket, please. There you are. Now listen again. When is the next train to Ashford? I'm afraid you're just too late for the 11.30. The next one is 12.45, but you'll have to change trains. The 2.15 is quicker because it goes straight to Ashford. I don't mind changing trains. I'll have a return ticket, please. There you are. Four. How much did the man pay for the camera? I've bought a new camera. It looks expensive. Cameras like that cost about £150, don't they? This was £175, but the man in the shop took £15 off the price because it was in the shop window and there was no box for it. £160 is still a lot of money. I hope it takes good pictures. Now listen again. I've bought a new camera. It looks expensive. 
Cameras like that cost about £150, don't they? This was £175, but the man in the shop took £15 off the price because it was in the shop window and there was no box for it. £160 is still a lot of money. I hope it takes good pictures. Five. Which race did the girl win? Were you at the sports competition on Saturday? Yes. I saw you come first in your bicycle race. But your best sport is swimming, isn't it? Yes, but I was second in that. Next year, I'm going to try running in the 800 metres too. Wow. You are good at sports. Now listen again. Were you at the sports competition on Saturday? Yes. I saw you come first in your bicycle race. But your best sport is swimming, isn't it? Yes, but I was second in that. Next year, I'm going to try running in the 800 metres too. Wow. You are good at sports. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Rosie talking to a friend about places for a party. What is the problem with each place? For questions six to ten, write a letter A to H next to each place. You will hear the conversation twice. Have you found a room for your birthday party yet, Rosie? Yes, at the University Hotel. It's old, but the room's nice and big. Did you look at any other places? Yes, five. And there was something wrong with all of them. Why didn't you like Brown's Cafe? I loved it, but they're putting in a new kitchen, so they won't be open for two months. Mm. And the Rivers Hotel? It was very cold when I went there last year. It's quite warm now, but it's not very clean. Oh, pity. What about the Bridge Restaurant? Or is it too dark there? No, but the problem is none of their rooms is free on my birthday. And it's expensive. Not really, but the Garden House is. Oh, yes, I know. I had a great dinner party at the Opera Café last week. It's fine for a dinner, but it's not big enough for a party. So, the University Hotel it is then? Yes. Now listen again. Have you found a room for your birthday party yet, Rosie? Yes, at the University Hotel. It's old. But the room's nice and big. Did you look at any other places? Yes, five. And there was something wrong with all of them. Why didn't you like Brown's Cafe? I loved it. But they're putting in a new kitchen, so they won't be open for two months. Mm. And the Rivers Hotel? It was very cold when I went there last year. It's quite warm now, but it's not very clean. Oh, pity. What about the Bridge Restaurant? Or is it too dark there? No, but the problem is none of their rooms is free on my birthday. And it's expensive. Not really, but the Garden House is. Oh, yes, I know. I had a great dinner party at the Opera Café last week. It's fine for a dinner, but it's not big enough for a party. So... The University Hotel it is, then? Yes. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three. Listen to Joe asking about a French language course. For questions 11 to 15, tick A, B or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds.
Now listen to the conversation. Hello. I'd like some information about French courses, please. Certainly. Beginners classes are on Wednesdays. Other classes are on Mondays or Fridays. I'm a beginner and I'm going to France on holiday. I want to speak to people in shops and read information in museums and other places. Do French for tourists, then. It'll be better than our business class and you want more than French conversation. Great. I can only come in the evening. Fine. It starts at half past six. There's a break at quarter past seven and you go on until half past eight. Is it a big class? We never have fewer than nine students or more than 15. And let me see, there are 14 at the moment. So with you, the class will be full. OK. What about the course book? You'll get that in the first class and a special notebook. Bring a dictionary. That's always useful. Fine. Oh, how much is the course? It's £170 for people from outside the city, but it's £25 less, or £145 if you live here. Oh, I do. Good. So, let me just take your name. Now listen again. Hello. I'd like some information about French courses, please. Certainly. Beginners' classes are on Wednesdays. Other classes are on Mondays or Fridays. I'm a beginner and I'm going to France on holiday. I want to speak to people in shops and read information in museums and other places. Do French for tourists, then. It'll be better than our business class and you want more than French conversation. Great. I can only come in the evening. Fine. It starts at half past six. There's a break at quarter past seven and you go on until half past eight. Is it a big class? We never have fewer than nine students or more than 15. And let me see. There are 14 at the moment, so with you, the class will be full. OK. What about the course book? You'll get that in the first class and a special notebook. Bring a dictionary. That's always useful. Fine. Oh, how much is the course? It's £170 for people from outside the city, but it's £25 less or £145 if you live here. Oh, I do. Good. So, let me just take your name. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a girl asking for information about going to Kendall by bus. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning, Bus Travel Centre. Hello. I'm phoning about buses to Kendall. I'd like to travel there early. What time does the first bus leave? The first Kendall bus, that's 6.45 a.m. And how much is a ticket? It's £18.25 for a single and a return is £26. Will the ticket office be open so early in the morning? No, but when you get on the bus, the driver will sell you a ticket. Please have the right money for him. OK, fine. Can you tell me where the bus station is? Yes, it's in Gately Street. That's G-A-T-E-L-Y. I'm not sure where that is. It's in the city centre. Do you know the museum? It's next to that. Oh, yes, I know. 
And can I get something to eat at the station? I'm afraid there isn't a cafe, but there is a small shop. You can get newspapers and drinks there. Oh, I'll bring some sandwiches then. Thank you. Goodbye. Now listen again. Good morning, Bus Travel Centre. Hello. I'm phoning about buses to Kendal. I'd like to travel there early. What time does the first bus leave? The first Kendal bus, that's 6.45am. And how much is a ticket? It's £18.25 for a single and a return is £26. Will the ticket office be open so early in the morning? No, but when you get on the bus, the driver will sell you a ticket. Please have the right money for him. OK, fine. Can you tell me where the bus station is? Yes, it's in Gately Street. That's G-A-T-E-L-Y. I'm not sure where that is. It's in the city centre. Do you know the museum? It's next to that. Oh, yes, I know. And can I get something to eat at the station? I'm afraid there isn't a cafe, but there is a small shop. You can get newspapers and drinks there. Oh, I'll bring some sandwiches then. Thank you. Goodbye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a telephone message about a trip to the theatre. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. Hi, Jamie. This is Michael. Sorry you're not in. Would you like to come to the theatre with me? There's a play on called The Dinner Party. It's about a group of friends who meet again after 25 years for a meal. People say it's really good. I know it's your birthday on August the 27th. Well, the play is on the 29th. I'll pay for your ticket as a birthday present, if you like. It's in the new theatre. It's that big building in Church Street, just across the road from the library. It hasn't been open long, and it's very nice and modern inside. The play starts at eight o'clock, so why don't we meet in the coffee bar first? I'll see you there at 6.45, and we can have a drink before it starts. If you'd like to come, call me on my mobile. The number's 0774-32316. Speak to you soon. Bye. Now listen again. Hi, Jamie. This is Michael. Sorry you're not in. Would you like to come to the theatre with me? There's a play on called The Dinner Party. It's about a group of friends who meet again after 25 years for a meal. People say it's really good. I know it's your birthday on August the 27th. Well, the play is on the 29th. I'll pay for your ticket as a birthday present, if you like. It's in the new theatre. It's that big building in Church Street, just across the road from the library. It hasn't been open long, and it's very nice and modern inside. The play starts at eight o'clock, so why don't we meet in the coffee bar first? I'll see you there at 6.45, and we can have a drink before it starts. If you'd like to come, Call me on my mobile. The number's 0774 32316.
Speak to you soon. Bye. This is the end of part five. You now have eight minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. That is the end of the test.